Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for wanting to expose my husband's behavior, even if it ruins his reputation? My husband's been going through some really weird stuff for the past six months, and we still don't know what's causing it. He's been dealing with these intense delusions. It all kicked off when he randomly became convinced that I was cheating on him, because he claimed he found some document on my laptop saying so. When I got home and he tried to show it to me, surprise, surprise, it wasn't there, because it never existed. He's in therapy now, but honestly, I'm not sure how much it's helping. We're technically separated right now, and even sleeping in different rooms because this pattern keeps repeating. He latches onto some insecurity, and once he's fixated on it, he treats it like the absolute truth. He either dreams up proof or convinces himself that anything fits his theory. I don't know what he's telling the therapist, but from my side it doesn't seem like he's improving. Just last week, he got all mad at our 15-year-old daughter because he believed she didn't want him to take her to prom or take pictures with her. I asked her about it and she was confused because what really happened was they'd been talking about her graduation plans, which isn't even for another two years. He just blew up over this imagined slight. The real kicker is, he's been telling other people about all these issues he's having with me and our daughter. I couldn't figure out why some of our mutual friends were ghosting me, but turns out, he's out there painting me as this awful wife and terrible person. People actually believe him. And I'm stuck here, wondering if I should just spill the truth to everyone, so they know what's really going on. But here's the catch, when he first started therapy, he begged at me not to tell anyone about his delusions, because he's afraid people will think he's lost his mind. I get that, but at this point, I'm drained. I feel like I'm left with no choice but to clear the air, especially since his lies are messing with my life and reputation. My sister said that it would also be an asshole thing to do that would basically feed into his delusions. I just feel like I am done. Ada? About five months ago, when my husband's behavior first started escalating, I quietly consulted with a lawyer here. At that time, his delusions had begun to affect our daily lives, and I knew I needed legal advice. The divorce process requires a period of legal separation before the divorce can be finalized. We initiated this process, and I requested full custody of our 15-year-old daughter, given her increasing fear of her father. The court was also concerned and ordered a psychological evaluation for my husband to assess his mental fitness for parenting. A few weeks into the legal separation, my husband's paranoia worsened. He started placing Apple Air tags in my car, and in our 15-year-old daughter's backpack, tracking our every move. My daughter was the one who found the air tag in her bag and was terrified. When I confronted him, he insisted it was for our safety, but it was clear to me that his paranoia was spiraling out of control. This incident deeply affected our daughter, who began refusing to see her father. Around this time, my mother-in-law reached out to me. She was concerned because my husband had accused her of cheating on his father something that was completely out of character for him. Fael didn't believe it for a second, but was deeply worried about his state of mind. Her reaching out was a small but much-needed relief. She acknowledged that his behavior was erratic, and offered her support, knowing that something was seriously wrong. My older daughter, 19, had also become involved in the situation. She had been quietly documenting her father's behavior for months. She recorded three different occasions where my husband went on delusive rants. The first was about how I'm supposedly cheating on him with one of my co-workers, a man I barely interact with. The second was about how our 15-year-old daughter was secretly dating someone older and lying to him about it. The third was about how the entire family was conspiring against him to make him look crazy. Watching these videos was heartbreaking, but they validated everything I'd been dealing with privately. Things escalated further when my husband almost attacked one of my colleagues. He had convinced himself that this man was the affair partner I was supposedly seeing behind his back. It took all my strength to physically separate them before the situation turned violent. As the legal process continued, my lawyer informed me that due to the severity of the situation and the psychological evaluation ordered by the court, my request for full custody was strongly considered. In Spain, courts typically prioritize the well-being of the child, and given my husband's mental state and the danger he posed, it seemed likely that I would be granted full custody of our 15-year-old daughter. She had made it clear that she didn't want to see her father, and the court was taking her wishes into account. 
In the midst of this, my 19-year-old daughter decided to take matters into her own hands. She posted the three videos she had recorded of her father's breakdowns on Instagram, along with a compilation of texts, photos, and other evidence she had collected over the past few months. Her intention was to show the world what we had been enduring, but it quickly turned into a public spectacle. The backlash was intense. Some people were horrified and reached out with sympathy and support, while others criticized us for airing dirty laundry and accused my daughter of betraying her father. As the divorce process continued, my husband's mental health became a significant factor. The psychological evaluation ordered by the court revealed the depth of his delusions, particularly around cheating and female sexuality. It became clear that he was not fit to make decisions regarding our daughter's well-being. The evaluation supported my claim for full custody, and the court is now in the process of finalizing that decision. In the meantime, all communication between my husband and me is being handled through our lawyers, and I'm ensuring that any interaction between him and our 15-year-old daughter is supervised. Given the severity of the situation and the damage done to our lives, I'm making plans to move away with my daughter once the legal proceedings are finalized. My reputation in our current community is shattered thanks to his delusions and the lies he has spread. Starting fresh somewhere new seems like the only way for us to heal and rebuild our lives. I never wanted it to come to this. I still care deeply for my husband, but I can't keep sacrificing our well-being for the sake of his image. The revelation that he's been lying to his therapist, or rather, his unqualified life coach, was a breaking point for me I realized I couldn't trust him to get better on his own. Some friends have apologized to now understand what was really happening, but others still believe his stories, and that's been hard. I'm not sure how to fix all the relationships that were damaged by this. I've also been getting a lot of questions about what has happened with my daughter's therapy and the divorce process, so I'll explain a bit. At first, we had to put my daughter into telehealth because we were waiting for an in-person spot with the therapist we were referred to by our doctor. It took some time to get that set up and approved, but now she's seeing someone regularly and it's been helping. As for the divorce, it could have been simple, but my husband has turned it into a high-conflict situation. I've been so frustrated with how slow it's been going, especially because it didn't need to be like this. But because of everything he's done, the courts have had to be more careful, and it's taking longer than expected. I'm only communicating with him through lawyers now. Once everything is done, I plan to move with my 15-year-old to start over somewhere else, away from all of this. That's where things stand now. It's been a horrible, painful experience, but I'm doing my best to keep my daughter safe and make sure we can move forward. Thank you again to everyone who has supported us through this. It really means a lot. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you got more to share.